Following Markel and Harry's decision to step down as senior royals, there has been a petition made online requesting the Duke and Duchess be stripped of their titles so it cannot be used for personal financial gain. Royal expert Hilary Fordwich touched on the petition to remove their royal titles after their exit, saying, There has been a petition, a movement from the people of the County of Sussex, they're supposed to represent to remove them. Why? Because they're taking the name, but they're not doing anything for the people of Sussex. This is a dilemma. This is not a celebrity role, it's a role of duty. So you need to do your duty and then hold the title. Why would anybody want the title if they don't want to do their duty to the people of the County of Sussex? You either do or you don't. You can't have your cake and eat it too. She continued, If you're the Duchess of Sussex and Duke of Sussex, you're supposed to serve the people and your duty is to be there and to go there and visit people's homes and go to churches and go to schools and go to hospitals. That's what the Duke and Duchess do. That's what they should do. For example, the Queen's youngest son, Prince Edward, he's the Count of Wessex and his wife is the Countess of Wessex. They go to Wessex and that's what they do. So it's very important to recognize that the people of Sussex are being served. Interestingly, Petition is created to make Major Johnny Thompson the Duke of Sussex instead of Harry. Major Jonathan Thompson of the 5th Battalion Royal Regiment of Scotland found himself front and centre when Prime Minister Liz Truss became one of the first people to meet the King on Friday, September the 9th. He was also seen standing behind the King when he signed the proclamations at St James's Palace. Fans were also intrigued by the new monarch's query during the procession of Her Majesty's coffin from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall on Wednesday. Known as Johnny to close friends, he was once the late Queen's highest ranking bodyguard and was often pictured with her. Major Thompson was previously spotted alongside the King and Camilla the Queen Consort on their tour of Canada in May 2022 undertaken as the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall. The kilt-clad equerry further caught the attention of royal watchers when he was part of the Platinum Jubilee service of Thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral in June. He was pictured sitting behind Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Since then, his fan base has been growing exponentially online. Meanwhile, King Charles III finds it amusing that Meghan Markle is trying to harm the royal family's reputation. Life and Style recently claimed that Markle will never win against the royal family, no matter how hard she tries, but she may have succeeded in taking Prince Harry away from his family. Unfortunately, everyone knows that it's only a matter of time before he returns home. She's using the royal name to grab attention again, and Harry's family thinks it's outrageously trashy. They blame Meghan for tearing Harry away from them in the first place. It's laughable that she's now claiming to be the one trying to mend the rift between her husband and Charles, the source said. The source also claimed Markle had the bright idea of bringing Prince Harry and Prince Charles during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, but failed. After all, King Charles III only spent a few minutes at Lilibet's party at Frogmore Cottage. It was Meghan's idea for Charles to come together with Harry at Lilibet's first birthday party, but there was so much tension in the air that Charles only stayed for 30 minutes, the source said. At the end of the day, the royal family cannot be questioned for thinking that Markle still has an agenda. That's why she's trying to repair Prince Harry and King Charles III's relationship.